Relative calm returns after gun battles rocked Brazzaville. The court validated the incumbent results on Monday the 4th by 60.19% of the votes. Soon after, the streets were filled with heavy gunfire. Local media reports that at least two attackers and three members of the security forces were killed in the clashes. The police spokesman, Colonel Moncala, says that 19 suspected fighters were arrested and that the operation will continue on Tuesday. While it is still uncertain whether this flare-up is synonymous of a rebel action against President Denis Sosung Wesso's recent re-elected government, the ninjas who have been accused by government of the recent spate are well known. They've been involved in a number of insurgencies in the Central African nation and were the main anti-government forces during the 1997 to 1999 civil war. Believed to have been established to serve as the private armies of Congo's three main political leaders in the early 1990s, ninja armed elements fought against Susung Weso's Cobra militia and the first democratically elected president of the Republic of Congo, Pascal Lesoba's Kokoe militia. The fighters were originally loyal to the former opposition leader Bernard Kolela a former mayor of Brazzaville and are said to be linked to the Bakongo group, the largest ethnic group in the Republic of Congo. Such alliances have resulted in deep rifts between regional groups based on ethnic and regional lines. A number of reports established that the ninja belonged to a kind of messianic religious group who believed that the apocalypse was near. The government promises to also investigate possible connections between this attack and the opposition. Sony Methu, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.